So there's been a lot of conversations happening about the two lamps that are the lamp that's available on AliExpress and the lamp that Nail Perfect sell. Now I thought I'd do a side by side compare of the two so that you guys can actually see what the differences are. So first of all I bought one of the lamps. The next thing I did was took a look at them. Now on the outside they look pretty similar, have to agree. Although you can't see it, it feels very different in my hand. So I thought the first thing I'd do is show you the weight difference because that's probably one of the biggest things. So this is the AliExpress lamp. Now as you can see that is 334 grams. Seems legit right? Works perfectly fine. Now this is the Nail Perfect lamp. As you can see at a whopping 567 grams there is quite a big difference on what's on the inside of the lamps and that's probably the most important thing. Here you go, 334 grams, so a big, big weight difference. The next thing I'm going to show you is the bases, because to me the bases feel amazingly different. This is so thin, I need to put barely any weight on it and it just bends, it's so squishy. It feels like a toy. Now the Nail Perfect one still flexes, it has a little bit of flex in it, but the same amount of pressure and it's barely moving, like I have to get it to wiggle, I have to really push hard on it. So now the next thing you're going to look at is, from the front it looks the same, the stickers look pretty much identical, I can't really spot too much of a difference with them, but stickers are pretty easily copied. So they do from the outer, if you didn't have them in your hand, you would think they looked very much the same. Where they do differ though is the back. Almost all of the AliExpress ones I found were 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 second timers. Now the Nail Perfect has a much longer timer. It has 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. I did find the buttons feel slightly nicer on this lamp too. Now back to the bases again, they both have detachable bases. This one has the four square feet but it also has four little pegs which are what you use to detach the base which I'll show you soon. Whereas the Nail Perfect one just has four wee round quite solid rubber feet. The feet on the other are foam and excuse the fingerprints. They are not quite so solid feeling. So again you can see how flexible that base is when you put your hand in, even just putting your hand in the base just bends. Whereas when I put my hand in this one it doesn't really so much. I have to press down on it to get it to bend. So it feels much more comfortable to the client. Now the next thing I'm going to look at is detaching the base. If you wanted to do feet or if for whatever reason you needed it off, this base is not easy to get off. Now this was me fiddling around with it. If I was sitting down and trying to do it with both hands and the lamp on the table it might be a wee bit easier. But I actually found these little pegs really difficult to get my fingers into and get them pulled up. You've actually got to pull each peg up and open up the clip, basically, before that base will detach. So that to me was a lot of faffing around, a lot of effort. It was a bit fiddly. They're not necessarily put together perfectly. So I actually found it really difficult to get apart. And you, like I said, have to get those clips right undone. I was struggling a wee bit here, <laughs> but there you go, it's off. Um, so once it's off, again, it looks very much the same. But yeah, that base is, those clips are just fiddly and awkward. And if I was using this lamp regularly, I don't think I'd ever take the base off it. It would drive me bonkers, either that or I'd leave the base off it and not put it back on. So you can see the clips here. They just pop in and pull out, but they're actually quite difficult to get in and out. I don't know if it's the design or just me being gammy, but they weren't easy to use. And so in comparison, I'll show you our Nail Perfect Lamp, which basically all I need to do is hold the top, put a little pressure on the base, and it just lifts off. The base has actually got a magnetic piece in it, so those little round bumps that you can see fit into the little holes, so to get it back together you just sit it in and it just clicks itself into place and the magnets are strong enough I can hold it up by the base and I'm not worried about the lamp falling off. So again just a little bit of pressure on the base and lift and it's apart. Super easy. 
so just to show you again from the outside yeah they do look alike I mean I couldn't look at it if I was looking at it for example just on this video I would look at it and go hey wow that looks really similar they both have little guards in the same place they both have the same number of LEDs they both have the same type of UV light in the inside of them they do look similar but as soon as you pick it up, I mean, you can see the stress scratches on this already, you know, and this is brand new, straight out of the box, never been used. So it's already got stress marks in the plastic. Whereas this one here has quite a lot more metal to it. A lot of this is metal, not plastic. So the whole inside silver metallic piece is metal. So there you go. I know it's a little bit hard to see in a video, but there are lots of differences. They might look the same, but cheap Chinese is not the same as high quality, and ours really are good. So there you go. Those are the differences, and they really are huge. Ours is really good value.